What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Niners News here on 49ers Hive. My name is Zach Hernandez, and as always, I am joined by my co-host, Matt Llewellyn. And today we're going to be asking, has Trey Lance done enough from his preseason week one performance to earn first-team reps moving forward? Matt, I think you said 26 reps was the amount of reps he had Mm -hmm. Saturday night against the Chiefs. Did he do enough in those 26 reps to prove he's earned more starter reps moving forward? I think so, and I think it's it's a compounding of a couple of issues. I think that once the 49ers went to private practice, that it was going to happen anyway. This was just a way to kind of keep the shine on Jimmy Garoppolo, at least in the public eye, um, and then behind closed doors. That's when Trey Lance is going to start getting these opportunities with the first team. And then you compound it with what we saw in the game, and – you see it with, you know, outside of the Ayuk drop, which like Ayuk never drops anything. That was such an odd occurrence. But you start to see the drops from the backup wide receivers. You start to see the lack of protection from the second team offensive line. And so I think it becomes increasingly difficult to give Trey Lance a fair evaluation on how he's progressing when there are so many other external uh, forces that are acting upon him in terms of what the team is seeing out of him on a day-to-day, down-to-down basis. You know, we know that he's good at the, the the splash plays. We know that he's good when he has clean pockets and stuff like that. And I think at this point, he's done enough. And Kyle is, I think, actively rooting for him. They traded three first-round picks to go up and get him. So it's apparent that he's, you know, the favorite um, of the coaching staff. He has to be. You put so much into him. Uh, that I think that going forward, I think they're going to start. And whether or not they say this out loud... Uh, I think it becomes more and more of a competition. Uh, I think that Jimmy is still penciled in as the week one starter, but that Trey Lance is starting to gain ground. And I think that, you know, if you don't want to say it's an out and out competition, you at least got to acknowledge that Trey has earned some of the reps with the first team based on his performance on Saturday. Yeah, most definitely. Um, And I think we, there was that, I don't know, that energy that he brought. And obviously so many fans were excited to watch him. Um, just because he was a you know third round or third overall pick, and they traded all those first rounds to get him. But what I noticed the most was that there was no noticeable drop off between Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance in the first couple of series. Um, if anything, it was a step up. I hope I'm not you know going too far on a ledge to say that, but I think the the, the offense kind of took a step forward with Trey Lance. Were there some rookie mistakes? Yes, of course. And that's going to happen. They're going to be the growing pains. But I agree with you, Matt. I do think that he's earned more first-team reps. And I actually think last night, I don't want to say did him a disservice, but it was almost like, what do you expect me to do, coach? I'm with you know these scrubs in front of you protecting me, these guys who can't catch the ball. Get me some guys on my level so I can really show you what I can do. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, I, you know, we all know how Kyle is, too. I mean, Trey was never going to say that. Obviously, he was so gracious when he came out in the press conference. But he all, we also know that with Kyle, he doesn't have to. Kyle knew what he saw, and he knew that there were drops. And, you know, the result of the play is not necessarily indicative on what Trey did. You know, he was 5 of 14, but his play said that he threw the ball a lot better than that. So it's one of those things where that they're going to have to move him in and and see how he does. You know, you say that. He might even be a step up from Jimmy. Certainly on the deep ball, there, there's and the escapability. There's a lot to like there in terms of raw physical ability. Um, but right now, I don't think that you can do any comparisons because they're not playing with the same players. And that's why I think it's critical to get them first team reps so that you have an apples for apples comparison point to compare Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance. And there are going to be certain things that Jimmy still does a little bit better in terms of processing, um, in terms of particularly running two minute drill things like that. But there are things that they're going to be very similar at. Um, Trey had, I think, two poor throws um, that I saw. And Jimmy's good for two of those games. So it's not like Jimmy is so much more far and away efficient with the football that we don't have to worry about, you know, turnovers and stuff. Jimmy turns the ball over a lot. And so when you look at what Trey did with those bad throws, those are things that you're going to see. One, the the throw in between the two defenders that was nearly picked off to Juwan Jennings on that in route that was an ego throw. I mean, that was, Hey, I got all of this cannon and I can get it there. Uh, And those are things that Kyle even said. I love the fact that he takes chances. And those are the chances that he's going to take sometimes that could lead to some mistakes. Um, But the best quarterbacks fit balls into tight windows all the time. So I think as his confidence grows, as his grasp of the playbook grows, those type of throws will be less and less risky, even if he still throws them. 
but you have to get them out there and see what they got against each other. Um, Jimmy's acknowledged it's a competition. I think that, you know, John Lynch, uh, John Lynch has come out and said that, you know, Trey is making it a com competition and that he's much more further along than they thought he was. Um, you know, you said in our game review that John Lynch, it's funny that he was on the broadcast with, with Greg Papa saying, yeah, you notice how he didn't take the check down to Ayuk and he threw that deep ball to Sherfield, you know, but that's, that's a shot at what Jimmy does, you know, that earlier in training camp, we have that Trey roll out to the left deep ball and, and he, yep. Jimmy's pointing at Travis Benjamin underneath. Um, we saw it in the game where Jimmy's three throws were underneath throws. So you have to get them against each other because I think that at this point, Trey needs to be in a position where there can be an apples to apples comparison because if we believe Kyle, when he says the dude that gives us the best chance to win is going to be the starter, then we have to believe that he needs to fully evaluate that in every way possible. One hundred percent. Um, and yeah, just touching on the deep ball aspect. NFL and CBS tweeted this immediately after uh, Trey Lance's 80-yard touchdown pass to Trent Sherfield. The longest pass Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown in his career, 76 yards. Trey Lance just threw an 80-yard TD on his second pass in the NFL, first NFL preseason game. I thought that was a little bit, you know, come on. Yeah. I, I'm also – I would be curious to – I mean – if they really wanted to, I wonder, I need to look at that 76 yard play because I wonder how much of that was rack yardage. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Because that throw from Lance, I mean, that was, that was a lot of air yards, man. He mm -hmm. threw it from one hash to the other. And like, so you're thinking about a football field that's about 50 yards wide and he threw the ball about, I mean, about 40, 45 yards downfield, but across mm -hmm. the field too. So then that becomes like a 60 yard throw. Yep. Um, yep. It was a super impressive throw. Um, I thought it's, you know, it's the one that everybody's going to talk about. I think that there were two throws that had more high degree of difficulty later on that he made, but this was like, this showed something that, that we just know Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have. And so I think that that's where people come in and say, you know, like yourself, Hey, is there, maybe he's even better than Jimmy in some certain, you know, but we're not going to know unless Kyle gets him in there with the first team and gets reps so that they can do a direct comparison. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you touched on the two throws that were more impressive, especially in our uh, post-game recap on Sunday, our live stream. I do think that the there were a couple of throws, but particularly that sideline throw to Richie James. There was so much touch on that ball, yep. and the, the, he put it right in a basket for Richie James mm -hmm. to get. And unfortunately, he didn't come down with it. Yeah. But throws like that is what I want to see more of. Obviously, the yeah. deep ball is great, but the the finesse and just the touch on the yeah. ball. And it was even more impressive because the defender was right in his face, so he had to get it over the defender. And into the hands of Richie James in a spot where only Richie could get it. It was beyond the first down. Mark. I mean, that was the first down play. Yep. And Richie just dropped it. So um, those are the things that kill drives. And and so you want to see, like, if that was, you know, let's just say Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel probably doesn't drop that ball. Yeah. You know, so if that's George Kittle, George Kittle doesn't probably doesn't drop that ball. Maybe he does, but. I don't know. Our boy Mike would say that he does, but I was um, say, you, you know what I mean, though, right? Like it's the difference between throwing to George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, and Debo Samuel versus throwing to River Craycraft, Charlie Warner, and uh, Richie Travis James. Benjamin, Richie James. You know, mm -hmm. there, there's a big fall off there. Yeah, I do think though that it's worth noting he still had an impressive outing with the that surrounding cast that he did, <laughs> and would have been taken to a whole nother level probably exponentially with guys like you know George Kittle. Trent Williams in front of him, Kyle Juszczyk beside him, Raheem Mostert behind him. That I mean, that's why I, I totally agree with you, Matt, and you're hitting the nail yeah. right on the head. Apples to apples. And until we get that, we can't right. definitively say one way or another. And here's the other thing. Um, they were kind of hamstringing Trey Lance a little bit in that they weren't taking advantage of his athleticism and his ability to run with the football. So um, this was a very vanilla very much a preseason week one offensive play calling other than that deep shot, which I think that Kyle Kyle did on purpose to kind of get a showcase for Lance. Um, and now he looks like a genius because Lance like dotted that ball. Uh, but going forward, you know, there are going to be things that, that Trey can do that Jimmy just can't. And we're going to see that with escapability. We're going to see that with running ability. And I think that that even 
closes the gap more. So what Trey was able to do with the drops, with with the you know lack of offensive line being able to hold blocks for him, and the fact that they didn't design any runs for him, and kind of seemed like they encouraged him not to take off and run. I think that it was a very impressive start for Trey, and I only think that that's going to get better. But again, I think that now that the the media isn't allowed to practice anymore, um, sans the you know the joint practices with the Chargers coming up, I think that's when we're going to see what Trey Lance can actually do um, in terms of an apple to apples comparison with the coaches. That's when they're going to take a look at him. That's when we're going to start hearing things, you know, from because every team has has something right. That's when you're going to hear the rumblings. That's when you're going to have all the guys on their soapbox saying that they just know that this is coming. And we'll be able to see going forward, um, you know, with time. And I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to become a closer and closer competition. Jimmy's going to have a very short runway this season. That's for sure. Man, I can't wait. It's going to be an exciting season one way or another. And us 49ers fans, we're in for a treat. I really do think that. Um, But with all that being said, that's going to conclude this episode of Niners News. Hit that subscribe button, Faithful. Get us 2,000 subscribers so we can give away a 49ers jersey and comment your thoughts below. Do you think Trey Lance did enough in his first preseason game to earn more starter reps? Go ahead and smash that like button. Follow us on all our social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, here on YouTube. We love having you here. It's the end of another news day. So until next time, go Niners.